Well guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working in this Dodge steak truck. As you see here, uh, it has a broken piece. This area, we're going to have to, uh, we're going to try to fix it. I don't know if I should... Uh, just do this corner or cut the whole thing we'll see what happens uh, so this is uh, matchbox series number four stick truck so it's not in really bad shape so let's drill this open to remove the paint Alright guys, so as you can see, this truck is supposed to have uh, a mini suspension system like the Rolls Royce. So it seems that this is, over time it's bent backwards, so we're going to have to adjust this. Wait. It creates more uh, pressure on the axle. Check it out. Sadly, on the on the back axle, it doesn't have the same system but yeah this is very nice very very nice Well guys, uh, here is the casting without paint. If you notice, I have not drilled the, the post completely and tapped it. We're going to do that pretty soon. Here is the base. It did have a little bit of paint in this area. I removed it with a Q-tip and uh, acetone came out uh, rather quickly uh, I might polish this especially here in the front get a really shiny surface here so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill here a lot of people on the previous video asked me what is this it's uh, beeswax and I use it to lubricate the drill bit and the tab so for now I'm gonna Continue drilling and tapping the casting.
all right guys so make sure that everything goes back together uh, smoothly everything fits back together as you can see here uh, now I'm gonna take everything apart again and I'm gonna use some steel wool to clean the casting here and make sure uh, see if I find any flashing and clean it off with a file set that I have here I don't see any major craziness here uh, other than this area right here but it doesn't really bother me because that could really It could really be like a door hinge or something. So this, I don't even going to touch it. This truck is in pretty good condition. So I'm going to clean it off. And we are going to paint. guys so when I was washing this that little piece that we saw at the beginning fell off doesn't really matter I got a piece of styrene here from the last project remember the truck door we created so checking it out they're about the same width so I'm gonna cut a piece of this to fit exactly here I'm gonna clean this area here make sure it's uh, flat and glue it together All right, guys so after after playing with this for a little while and sanding little by little I was able to get here a perfect fit As you see it's still a little bit wide, but I'm gonna glue it in place. And once it's once it's completely dried, then I could cut from the top and uh, fix it. So I'm gonna do that. And I also have since this is soft material. If you can see the original, it has like wood grain. So once it dries, I'll try to use the exacto knife here to cut little grooves. All right.
All right, guys. So I've given it about a day for the glue to dry. As you can see, I'm testing out this method, which I'm just heating up this small flat tip screwdriver. And using it to create the little grooves. So after that, I'm gonna paint the whole thing. I'm gonna use spray paint white just to get a matching color all around. And then I'm gonna paint it light brown because I do like light brown better. So, give me a second. All right guys, check it out. Light coat of white paint, flat, flat white. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tape off this whole area here and I wanna get the base and this back part maybe I don't want to paint it black since a lot of the details get lost so I might paint it uh, a dark gray dark gray might be a better choice uh, we'll see how it looks if it looks good we leave it if not we'll paint it black so let me tape it off and uh, let's do the next step all right guys so I use some uh, Tamiya tape and then I use some blue painter's tape on top. If it, if it removes uh, some of the white, you know, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. So now I'm going to paint it dark gray. See how it turns out. Guys, uh, we just got to wait for the paint to dry up and I have to say I really like how uh, the wood looks in white it really looks pretty good now we're just like I said again we're gonna have to wait a little bit for uh, this to dry out and let's start getting painting uh, start painting the wood so I got this paint at uh, Walmart they're about 50 cents and as you can see it's matte so it's not shiny and I'm gonna dilute it with some isopropyl alcohol see how it turns out and then I was gonna do this with the airbrush but I want to try with this little brush so I mix this up and continue All right, so now uh, I gotta let it dry. I'm gonna probably gonna use the hair dryer, and then I'm gonna cover it up with some clear coat. So it has been about 24 hours since I painted the truck. I'm gonna show you. I used this metallic metallic charcoal for uh, the back part for the floor and I was trying out this new color tangerine orange very very similar to the spectra flame orange and uh, how about we do some details here I'm gonna do some of the details with the gray sharpie and this 
part right here, the inside, I'm gonna paint it black with the black Sharpie. Because remember, the, the base sticks out and that's gonna be polished. So it gives it a nice uh, contrast there. So let me get ready and uh, I'll be back. All right, guys, not perfect, but it has uh, a lot of deep scratches. So let me put this thing together so you can see the finished product. All right guys, so you are watching what we started with. And now the finished product. There it is guys. I think this is a perfect time for you to hit that like button and that subscribe button with the little bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I really liked how this one turned out. I think the, the wood color, look at that black insert inside the front grill, really makes the, the headlight and the, the grill pop out. There it is. I did not shine this uh, paint job. It's just regular paint job with the glossy uh, clear coat and I did use gloss clear coat also on the back so there it is guys and again thank you for watching hope you really like this uh, outcome here and really hit that like button because it does really help me out a lot so peace out bye